there. Welcome to the Sue Cloud Show, where we, uh, where you listen to me talk about <laughs> whatever. I don't like to do the temporal reference thing, but I must admit that uh, I feel like honor's been brought back to America. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, that's pretty funny. <sighs> Mr. Beck rallied all sorts of other folks. Not knowing it was the anniversary of the I, I Have a Dream speech. Oh, not knowing? Let me tell you. He's following a playbook dictated to him by Rupert Murdoch, who pretty much could be the Antichrist, I'm thinking, and Beck is just one of the Antichrist's uh, minions. <sighs> Sending out this message of bringing honor back to America. And got me thinking, I must admit, it got me thinking, where'd, the, where'd all the honor go? Hmm, where'd all the honor go? There have been corrupt politicians since the beginning of politics. So there probably wasn't any honor there in the first place. Probably not. Okay, so politicians lost cause. Okay, I think we knew that. Because there's something about it. When people get elected, they get corrupted. Uh, you know, it's the strong, strong person who can avoid getting corrupted at least a tiny, tiny bit. Very strong person who can avoid that. Uh, so, let's see. If that never had honor in the first place, okay. Alrighty. Let's see, where'd the honor go? Good question. I was watching a story on PBS, which I watch more and more because I can't watch the violence on regular TV anymore. I just can't. Anyway, uh, it was about the uh, Chicago World's Fair in 1896, Eight? Nine, six. I don't know, where they transformed a swamp south of downtown Chicago into this amazing, what they called the White City, which, it be, and they called it the White City because all the lights, it was lit up all the time. And it was kind of cool because Gene Wilder narrated it. Um, really fascinating story. There's a lot of stories about that whole Centennial Exposition stuff, but... In one way, what, we, what was built at that time was so amazing. People came from all over the world to be there, to uh, be in the plaisance the Midway Plaisance uh, and had dancing girls and beer gardens and all sorts of amazing uh, amusements and uh, the Hall of Women. I didn't know there was a Hall of Women to illustrate the con contributions of women. That's really interesting because that's before women could vote. Uh, <laughs> interesting. And what was built also at that time was the main building for the Museum of Science and Industry, which is an amazing place. That one building was built to last because it was going to be the art museum of the exposition, and due to insurance purposes, they couldn't insure a transient building to hold all the art. Therefore, we have the Museum of Science and Industry, which is a gorgeous building, and if you're in Chicago, I strongly suggest that, and the Field Museum. Anyway, but what we have built in the past, what we have done in the past, that was honorable sometimes. Architecture, art, some of that was honorable in the past. How about commerce and business? Honorable? Some, some people were, some business people were, some were not. So that's kind of a human nature thing. 
Okay. Bringing honor back to America. If you just look at the, the mall in, in Washington, D.C., it's, it's an amazing, amazing place. Could we build that today? I don't know about that. There hasn't been a World's Fair in a long time. They're expensive. And some of the last ones didn't make a hell of a lot of money. Even though they had monorails and space needles. Bringing honor back, huh? Honor. You want children to see their parents praying. Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But praying, it, it can't stop praying, I guess. I just don't know where he was going with this, and I haven't read the transcript, and I am afraid to. But where did the honor go? I would think that there's a lot of honor in our fighting men and women who have given of their lives, of their themselves, for years now. That's honorable. I think the people that are pushing for clean energy are honorable. I think anyone, I think anything that goes to improve the human condition should be honorable, right? Right? I mean, honor. It's an interesting word. But I, you know, bringing honor back to America. His kind of honor? He said, tell the truth. Well, that's a problem right there when it's coming from him now, isn't it? He'll tell his truth. And in a way, everyone has their own truth. But his truth can be a little hateful now, can't it? A little hateful. When the teabaggers say they want to exercise their, what, right to bear arms, Amendment rights. I don't see a lot of honor in that per se, because I don't think that'll improve the human condition. When people want to strip away Social Security, I don't see that as helping with the human condition or being honorable. I've paid into that system all my working life. You don't touch my Social Security. You keep your mitts off. I know I've said this before, but being honorable does not mean taking away my Social Security that I have paid into. I paid into it. I did. You're telling me I should not get anything from it? It's the same idea as, you know, privatizing Social Security. Tying it to the freaking stock market. Ah, yes. That went well. Thank God it wasn't done to Social Security, but we can't tie millions of people's bare sustenance. And, and that's what it basically is. Social Security is to provide a floor of income. No one's supposed to subsist on it, but a lot of people do. that was never intended for that. It was just to provide enough so that people wouldn't starve to death, basically. Because we don't want a lot of people starving to death, I don't think. We, that, that's not very honorable. It wouldn't be honorable to have a lot of people just starve and die. But sometimes I think that some people want a lot of people to starve and die. You know? That's what scares me, because that's not very honorable, is it? Oh well. That's enough honor blabber from me. You take care of yourselves and be honorable out there, because I can feel it. The honor's coming back. I can feel it. I can feel it. There it is. Oh, I can feel it. The honor is coming back. Silly. You have a good day. Take care of yourself.
yourselves and each other. Be honorable. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.